Howdy folks, this is Big Sam. Have you ever looked at a PU scope like this and wondered if it's real or not? Well in this short video, I'm going to show you how to tell if a PU scope is real or fake. Now this one we're going to save till the end because it's the hardest to tell if it's real or fake. But first of all, let's look at a real one. Alright, so here we see this teardrop shape. This is from the Omsk factory. And this is generally the marking you'll see on all of the fake ones. And then down here, this is a good sign. This is a refurbishment marking from the Kiev arsenal in 1965. You don't usually see refurbishments on markings on fake ones, so that's a good sign it's real. Now starting in 1942, you see this prefix marking on the serial numbers of OMP scopes. Now here you have an A prefix. And you'd also see later the B prefix as well. You won't see these on the older ones from early 1942 and before, but this is most common to see. And here you'll see the prefix on an Yuzhev's rifle belonging to the serial number of a PU scope. So we know that the serial number of the scope was N and then B-30223. So you always see that N and then either the prefix or just the dash if it's before uh, early 1942 or before. Now here is a really easy to spot fake. This is a Firefield scope from that white hammer and sickle. You can buy one of these for about 160 US dollars for that whole kit. So this is the easiest one to tell that it's fake. Let's take a look at one that's a little bit harder to tell if it's fake. Now this one looks pretty nice and it is, but you see that marking there? That's a CH marking, which probably stands for the Cherkasy plant where we believe these scopes were manufactured in the Ukraine. So this is a high quality reproduction imported from the Ukraine. So that's pretty easy to tell. But let's look at the harder one to tell. This guy, is this real or fake? Well, this one's actually a fake one, but you may not be able to tell all that easily. We have to zoom in a little bit further to tell if it's real or fake. You see there, the easiest way to tell is that N. See how there's little curves at the bottom left and the top right of the N? That's a really good indication that this guy is fake. You don't see that on older ones. And also, this one looks brand new. These scopes are 80 years old if they're new, uh, real, so it's pretty easy to tell if it's real or fake. Now here's another Ukrainian copy, and this one's easy to tell because you see after that N in the serial number, there's a big zero. That means it's fake right off the bat. Now, you'll see some later ones that are actually Russian-made, but they're painted, and these were probably used on things like artillery or heavy machine guns. And they come in all uh, different colors and markings. Here's another one. This is actually a real Russian. Of course, this is, this is definitely post-World War II. Now, if you're lucky, you might find a real one with a more uncommon marking. Like this one made at the Yashkar Ola factory. You see that Pentagon, that's a good sign that it's real and uncommon. Now, here's another one. Kind of looks like an electrical tower there on the far left. You see below, uh, it's above the serial number. That means this was probably made at the Kazan factory. That's also an uncommon marking and pretty good indication that it's rare. I don't really see any fakes with either of these markings. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please email me. I put my email in the description of every video. Let me know if y'all have any prayer requests, and we'll see you next time.